What attracted me to medicine in the first place was literature. I was an undergraduate English major and I focused a lot on medical humanities as part of the theme of classes I took. And the interest in me in the beginning in medicine was this notion of how writers interpreted and what insight they had into human suffering and pain and illness and I thought that was fascinating and how wonderful it would be to be a part of that in, in a vague kind of way. From a scientific point of view, I was really interested in immunology and medical school and it seemed that all of the interesting cases we would encounter were, were rheumatology patients, lupus and very complicated um, presentations of illnesses. The mentors I had in rheumatology were very kind and thoughtful and intelligent people and I was very, I really admired them. And I really just love the complexity that we deal with in rheumatology and we're really known as problem solvers. So what I think is really satisfying about what we do, because we do a lot of different things here, is educating patients, you know, and I find that really satisfying. So for example, patients come with, uh, with questions about what to do about their osteoporosis and they're very worried about it. And I really find it satisfying to kind of start from the beginning kind of educate them about what this is, why we're worried about it, um, what's the rationale for treating it, and then kind of go through their concerns and contextualize. I can just see the anxiety melting away as they understand it better, they understand the whole context of it and what the options are. That I find is really satisfying when you go from someone who just doesn't want to be treated, very worried, to okay, now I understand this and this makes a lot more sense to me. Um, when I was a fellow, I did a master's in public health at Berkeley when I was there to kind of get more statistics training and epidemiology training to kind of help me with that. So I did that for many years and um, that has been a great foundation for knowing kind of what's going on in lupus and how to keep up with the literature, how to read the literature that's becoming a lot more complicated statistically these days. Um, so that's experience I really value that I had before coming to ARA. One of my um, hobbies over the years is learning French and, and I really enjoy that. There's in, in many of the cities I've lived in, Manhattan and San Francisco and here, they're very international, especially here. And so I've really had the opportunity to practice French and meet a lot of you know French speaking patients from all different countries. Um, and that's been really, really kind of a nice, unique uh, aspect of, of my clinic, you know. Um, uh, I've done a lot of singing over the years, so I used to sing in um, with the Pittsburgh Symphony and with uh, the Juilliard Choral Union in Manhattan, and so I've had the opportunity to perform in a lot of different um, places like Carnegie Hall and you know Juilliard and whatnot. So that's been one of my uh, pre-children uh, yeah. hobbies. <laughs>